Hey, it's Kip K from Make Magazine, back with another weekend project. There have been some really cool robot inventions over the years, some that fizzled out, and others that evolved and became real working products, like this Roomba vacuum cleaner. Please put me down. Oh, okay. Uh, anyway, this week we're going to make a cool little robot that does nothing but make you smile on this week's Weekend Project. Now you can pick up Herbie the Mouse Bot kit at the Maker Shed Store. Everything you need to build Herbie is inside, and what makes him a little bit different is that he is a light-seeking robot. We'll show you how that works later. Remove everything from the package and separate all the parts. And uh, the first step is to actually separate the main body of Herbie the mouse bot. These just snap apart and then the little tabs get filed down. You may be wondering how Herbie is going to see the light. Well, it's his eyes, these infrared sensors. They're photodiodes and they need to be installed in the board. And then we're going to tin all the connections that actually put the board together. Be careful doing this and make sure it's lined up properly. It's recommended to use masking tape to hold everything together until all the solder joints are lined up. Then we'll be soldering in the relay which controls Herbie's forward and backward movement, the 8-pin IC connector, the capacitor, resistor, transistor, and switch. Now Herbie's tail is very important because it controls the backup mechanism of Herbie, so we want to solder that in place. Use a lot of solder to hold this together. The tail spring sensor is made out of the paper clip that's included. It needs to be cut and bent to look like this. Be sure to save the extra pieces to that paper clip because you're going to need them in a minute. Then that gets soldered in place around the tail spring. After putting the rubber wheels on the two motors, those need to be soldered in place. Pay attention to polarity and the instructions will be clear how these are installed. Now every good mouse has a nose and Herbie's is made out of this hard metal bead. It should spin freely. Okay, our last step is to form and install Herbie's whiskers which also serve as backup sensors. This Make Weekend Project is powered by Radio Shack. Visit Radio Shack Invention Lab for more projects and exclusive videos and the chance to win Radio Shack prizes. Herbie is built, but we need a smooth surface to test him on. So let's go out to the garage. After dimming the lights in the garage, I turned on my flashlight, turned Herbie on, and off he goes. This was a little difficult to shoot as I was going around and around chasing Herbie, and uh, to be honest, I got a little dizzy at one point. Herbie moves very fast and loves to follow the light. And there's Herbie the light-seeking mouse bot. Why don't you pick one up and build it yourself? We'll see you next time. Bye.